Body fluids, bodily fluids, or biofluids are liquids within the human body. In lean healthy adult men, the total body water is about 60% 60 to 67% of the total body weight, it is usually slightly lower in women. The exact percentage of fluid relative to body weight is inversely proportional to the percentage of body fat. A lean 70 kg man, for example, has about 42, 42 to 47 liters of water in his body. The total body of water is divided between the intracellular fluid (ICF) compartment, also called space or volume, and the extracellular fluid (ECF) compartment, space volume, in a 2 to 1 ratio. 28, 28 to 32 liters are inside cells, and 14, 14 to 15 liters are outside cells. The ECF compartment is divided into the interstitial fluid volume, the fluid outside both the cells and the blood vessels, and the intravascular volume, also called the vascular volume and blood plasma volume, the fluid inside the blood vessels. In a 3 to 1 ratio, the interstitial fluid volume is about 12 liters, the vascular volume is about 4 liters. The interstitial fluid compartment is divided into the lymphatic fluid compartment, about 2, 3s, or 8, 6 to 10 liters. The transcellular fluid compartment is the remaining one third, or about 4 liters. The vascular volume is divided into the venous volume and the arterial volume, and the arterial volume has a conceptually useful but unmeasurable subcompartment called the effective arterial blood volume. Topic: Compartments by location. Intracellular fluid, extracellular fluid, intravascular fluid, blood plasma, interstitial fluid, lymphatic fluid, sometimes included in interstitial fluid, transcellular fluid. Health Body fluid is the term most often used in medical and health contexts. Modern medical, public health, and personal hygiene practices treat body fluids as potentially unclean. This is because they can be vectors for infectious diseases, such as sexually transmitted diseases or blood-borne diseases. Universal precautions and safer sex practices try to avoid exchanges of body fluids. Body fluids can be analyzed in medical laboratory in order to find microbes, inflammation, cancers, etc. Topic: Clinical samples. Clinical samples are generally defined as non-infectious human or animal materials including blood, saliva, excreta, body tissue and tissue fluids, and also FDA-approved pharmaceuticals that are blood products. In medical contexts, it is a specimen taken for diagnostic examination or evaluation, and for identification of disease or condition. Topic. Sampling Methods of sampling of body fluids include Blood sampling for any blood test, in turn including Arterial blood sampling, such as radial artery puncture Venous blood sampling, also called venipuncture Lumbar puncture to sample cerebrospinal fluid Paracentesis to sample peritoneal fluid Thoracocentesis to sample pleural fluid Amniocentesis to sample amniotic fluid Topic: 
Body fluids in art A relatively new trend in contemporary art is to use body fluids in art, though there have been rarer uses of blood and perhaps feces for quite some time, and Marcel Duchamp used semen decades ago. Examples include Piss Christ 1987, by André Serrano, which is a photograph of a crucifix submerged in urine. In Janine Antony's Conduit 2009, she created a copper cast gargoyle device that she could pee through on the top of the Chrysler building, Antony's urine acting as the patina. Andy Warhol's Oxidations series, begun in 1977, in which he invited friends to urinate onto a canvas of metallic copper pigments, so that the uric acid would oxidize into abstract patterns. Self 1991, recast 1996 by Mark Quinn, a frozen cast of the artist's head made entirely of his own blood. Piss Flowers, by Helen Chadwick 1991-92, are twelve white enameled bronzes cast from cavities made by urinating in snow, though this might not be characterized as the use of bodily fluids in art, just their use in preparation. Performances by Lenny Lee involving feces, blood, vomit from 1990. Many paintings by Chris O'Feely, which make use of elephant dung from 1992. Gilbert and George's The Naked Shit Pictures 1995. Herman Nitsch and Das Orgien Mysterien Theater used urine, feces, blood and more in their ritual performances. Franco B. from 1990 Bloodletting Performances. The cover of the Metallica's album Load is an original artwork entitled, Semen and Blood 3, one of three photographic studies by Andres Serrano created in 1990 by mingling the artist's own semen and bovine blood between two sheets of plexiglass. See also Blood-borne diseases Clinical pathology Fluid bonding, unprotected sex in long-term relationships Humorism Hygiene Ritual cleanliness <laughs>